from the shock of what was going on in the Shakahola area of Kilifi County. Let's take a look at what's been happening beyond our borders, casualties of religious extremism in days gone by. I want to immediately take you to our screen here where we will start in southwestern Uganda. When the year 2000, some 700 members from the movement for the restoration of 10 commandments of God uh, passed on in a blaze, the cult members are suspected of setting the building alight and they were never found. Over 700 deaths reported. Just think about that, even as we move on to the next one. Uh, in 1978, in Guyana, South America, one of the largest mass murder suicides of modern history, where 914 adults and children from a U.S. cult died in the jungle. It said the cult leader gave members cyanide-laced punch in a nutshell poison, and those who refused to take the drink and tried to flee were shot to death. Okay. Uh, also, in the United States, uh, let's not take it to the United States, Texas, 1993, 76 members of a sect in Waco, this is in Texas, including 20 children, died in a blaze at their wooden fortress when it was reported or when it was stormed by federal agents after they'd been hiding in there for a 51 day period. And the fire was then started by the commotion, and these 76 deaths were reported back in 1993. Last but not least, because there have been others like this, in Tokyo in 1995, uh, the leader of a doomsday cult was behind a notorious attack in Japan, in which members released a toxic sarin gas into Tokyo's subway network, killing 13 people and causing thousands of others to get sick because of the poisoning from this toxic sarin gas.